Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. Today we're going to look at some footwork skills and drills that we can do to help build our foundation on the ground, whether it be for boxing, Muay Thai, MMA. We're mostly going to be working from the striker stance, not the kick stance. So remember when you're doing your striking stance, it's a little bit longer, you're in closer, you need more leverage, more power. The kick stance is a little bit shorter. You're keeping that leg a little closer to the target so it's easier to get those kicks in. So we're going to be going over most things from that stance. And when you're doing your stance in any kind of uh, basic stance, you want to have it about hip width most of the time. There's going to be some exceptions to that. But from our hip width stance, we're thinking about keeping our knees bent, good solid base so we can move left, right, front and back. And heel up on that back foot so you can spring forward. When you're moving, you want to try to avoid moving like this, where you're picking that foot up, kind of like you're walking down the street. You want to keep your feet close to the ground. And when I come, I'm, I'm coming in with my foot where I'm landing with the ball of the foot first, not the heel of the foot. So as you're moving around through these different stances and these different uh, transitions with the feet, Kind of keep that in mind. We're always looking for that hip width stance, knees bent, good solid foundation, four directions, front, back, left, and right. And then also moving the feet with taking the least amount of time in the air. So I don't want to be walking around and stepping like this when I'm doing my footwork. So as we're doing this, we're going to use this drill for what we could use, make it kind of a little more realistic, a, a bit of a workout but also talk about the applications of the training. So when we're doing this and we're running through the stance, instead of just being in your stance and waiting for the next footwork command or the next footwork drill that you're going to play, you're going to be working on your rhythm. You're going to be moving around, changing your body weight, your leg elevation, moving front, back, left, right, moving the head a little bit, working your slipping, your bobbing, weaving, and just kind of flowing with the stance. So it's going to be a little bit more active. So we're going to go through uh, a few different footwork exercises. Um, Coach Daniel, if you could come out here, please. And so uh, the first one we're going to look at from the stance, go ahead and get into your rhythm, is he's going to play shuffle step. And we're going to go off the left side, right side, front and back. So when I say break right, he goes right away. And he's trying to respond immediately. So he's really springing to that step. Break left, front, front, back. Back, right, right, left, left, front, front, back, back, right, left. Good. So you notice how when he's moving around, every time he steps, if he goes to the right, he's not stepping here and then bringing this foot in and making it narrow on the stance. Every single time he moves, if this foot moves three inches this way, this foot's only going to move three inches. So I've always got that hip width stance and a good, a good stable base. Okay, the next footwork series we're going to play is the pendulum and the cross step. So when you're doing the pendulum to the front and the rear, it's just kind of like this. When you're doing the cross step, if you're going to the right, you're going to cross step here. If you're going to the left, you're going to cross step in the rear or working that side side. So again, he's going to get into that rhythm, good solid base, and right, left, <clears throat> front, back, right, left, right, left, right, left, front, back, good, basic cross step and pendulum. Now we're going to move into the quarter turns. <clears throat> On the quarter turns, there's three variations of these. We're going to do the small quarter, big quarter, and the slipping or bobbing quarter. And so when we're doing the quarter turn, on the small quarter, this front foot is not going to do anything but pivot. So I want to think about if I'm facing this direction, when I do my quarter turn, I'm going to go 90 degrees. And now I'm facing this direction, but still my feet are hip width. So when I turn back, I don't want to turn back and overstep and now my feet are this wide or maybe turn back and understep and now my feet are on a tightrope. I want to make sure that every time I pivot, I've got that hip width stance 
and my feet are solid when you're changing the angles. So let's do the uh, small quarter. So he's in his rhythm and left, 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 right, 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 left, right, 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 left, left, right, right. Good. The big quarter, same idea. We're still turning 90 degrees. We're still keeping that hip width every time you pivot, but now we're changing. We're, we're moving off the line. So Coach Daniel, can you stand here in front of me, please? So when he's in front of me, if I do that small quarter and I turn here, now I'm in a bad position where he can attack me. So if I want to do my quarter turn with somebody here, I do what we call a big quarter. So I'm going to step with this foot and turn, and now I've got the advantage on the angle. So we're going to be working the big quarter on this series. So <clears throat> left, 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 and right, 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 right. Now notice how when he's going to the right, he's cross-stepping with this lead stance. Sometimes when we go to the right, he'll drag that front foot. So go to the right. Yeah, and he brings it off the stance this way. So his initial movement will be with that back foot and this one will come around. Or sometimes you might cross step and come out here depending on the distance you are from your partner and what technique you're trying to apply. So uh, left, right, left, 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 right, right, right. Good. Last one we're going to look at is a slipping quarter. When we're slipping, if you do the slip to this side, that's the side you're going to turn to. If I slip to this side, I'm going to turn here. So as we play this one, he's in his rhythm, <clears throat> left, right, left, 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 right, 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 good. That's the variations on the quarter turn. Okay, lastly, we're gonna look at a uh, quick exchange. The quick exchange, we're gonna do two variations, but the first variation is just a standard quick exchange. So could you come here, please? So he starts in one lead and he switches the other lead okay, and back. Keep that rhythm going, switch, switch, switch. Switch. Now we're going to do the quick exchange with the fadeaway. So he's in his left lead stance and switch. He fades off to the side. Notice how he's not coming forward now with that right foot. Do it again. Now change lead, do the other side. Stay in that right lead, work the fadeaway on this side. Good. And then we're going to do one more. So on this one, we're going to do a sidestep. Oftentimes when I'm teaching this to somebody, I'll teach them to do this because it's very simple. Just And you get used to that kind of rhythm and moving from left to right. But really, all we're doing is step and turn, step and turn. Using your hips and your body, thinking about driving that punch in when you turn here. So when he's going through the rhythm, go ahead, go, go. Go. Good. Okay. So those are the basic footwork patterns we're going to play. Now, a way that you can practice these is we're going to go through them as a list and we're just going to rep them out. So we're going to start, go ahead and go into your rhythm. And when we start, we're just going to work one at a time. So the first one, we're going to work the uh, side, side, front and back. Go. Notice how he's keeping his base solid, working his rhythm. Thinking about that sense of enemy. You're thinking about somebody in front of you and what you're trying to do. Maybe defending on the recoil, attacking on the advance, changing that angle on the sidestep. Okay, number two, the cross step and the pendulum.
Number three, the quarter turns. Small quarter, big quarter, and slipping quarter. Go. <clears throat> okay, next one, quick exchanges. So on the quick exchange, we're going to do the standard and the fadeaway. We're going to link them together. Go ahead. And last one, sidestep. Yes. So now, anytime you're learning a skill like this, each one of these is an individual skill. I know we're kind of repping, we're covering a lot of information, especially if you're a newer student. This is a lot to learn in one lesson. But we want to break these down and pick each one of these and isolate it and drill it. You might do one round of just working that front shuffle step and working on being solid and smooth transitioning into strikes or slips or, or different body movements. There's many different ways you can put it together. Uh, for this exercise, you notice how we're linking a lot of different things together. It's a great way to just kind of get some reps in on the movements, but remember that it's important if you want to develop one of these skills and make it work in the ring, that you really want to isolate it and focus on that individually. Now, this last way we're going to play this is we're just going to freestyle it. So we're going to shadow box without any punching or kicking right now, but just shadow box all these variations of footwork drills, but link them together in any order or any application you want. Just remember to be thinking about somebody in front of you, how you're gonna angle, what, you're, what footwork you're gonna use for defense and offense and different attacks as you're flowing around. So go ahead and watch uh, Daniel here. All right, good, thank you. So, <clears throat> basic footwork drills, but it can be very advanced as well. I, I've seen uh, uh, and worked with a lot of fighters in my time in martial arts. I've been training for about 35 years, and some of the best fighters, they'll get into the gym and they're working on their basic shuffle step, even after they've been fighting pro for a number of years. They're working on that rhythm, that timing, that distance. You watch somebody like that, What's cool about seeing that is that, you know, they, they could close their eyes and do it 150 different times. And if you took a picture every time, it would look exactly the same. You know, it's just, it's just like second nature. And that's what we want to get this to, because when you're in a competition, you're in the ring sparring, things are happening so fast. If you don't have your reps in and you don't have a good foundation, it's going to be hard to pull any of this stuff off. So Hopefully you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, we're putting up a lot of new content right now, trying to get some information out to you guys, especially during this time where the Academy is not uh, active. And so uh, please uh, subscribe below if you haven't. We'll be putting out new content every week. We're putting up a lot of fresh stuff for you guys. So if you have any questions, comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.